Well, hello and welcome to Eco Farm. Early morning May, just over six, just after six a.m. Beautiful day. We set fine for the whole day. So last month was a big month. We started planting that big field, and I got approached by a fairly big company um, who want to take this eco farming operation to a new level so we have decided to sell up to them they are going to pay us 2.5 million for our operation as it is at 12 o'clock today or well, 12 o'clock um, in the middle of May so basically by 12 o'clock game time so that does give us the opportunity to at least make one set of deliveries and we will also have to of course repay our loans out of that I think we've still got about 160 well let's just check and see where our loans are all right we still got 169,000 euros uh, 142,000 euros owing so we can get that paid off and have a bit of cash plus whatever plus the 2.5 million that they were going to give us as a going concern i don't think there's anything to harvest yet but i think there's stuff that is very close to harvest harvesting for them so it's quite a good deal pretty much all the fields are planted the big field is still being planted and we better just get over there and check that out there we go it's so it's going to be harvested in two in two amounts as well uh, over two days it'll have to be harvested two months which is fair enough for such a big 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 field so it's probably three quarters done maybe even more so yeah we'll just watch this for a little while is it keen to, keen to see whether it just replants it doesn't it doesn't seed where it's been seeded already good Yeah, so that's all looking good I don't know whether that will be finished by the time they take over uh, it's probably gonna have to oh, we must probably gonna have to put one more batch of seed in any case let's go and deal with the deliveries first and if we slow enough on this we might not have to put the seed in <laughs> it, it just wouldn't be right would it right let's go and do so i think we'll start with the the big money items um and do we have to have good straps on that yeah there we go let's get back onto the front one There we go. So we'll go and pick up the mushrooms first. And we'll do the flowers at the same time. Now we've got a little bit of, bit of a mini land train going. And then we'll go back and we'll do the product from the soya drinks, etc. Let's get this going and so we'll get the first one to should load all up on the first one and this i hope it's not going to load on the second one <laughs> doesn't really matter though but i don't want to i don't want it to load in the air so to speak
20 out of 24. Now there's been a breakdown at the Sawyer Drinks factory. The water pump is broken. So we don't have any soy uh, drinks to deliver. I have spoken to the people who are going to be buying operation. They will be taking care of it. So that's a bit of a well, it's pretty lucky because they haven't they haven't said they're going to reduce the price or anything like that. <laughs> I don't think it's a major problem, but we will deliver this, we'll add these on, there we go, and we'll strap those up. And then we'll head on down to the flowers and we'll go and get those sorted out, or loaded up, we'll catch you once we're down there. Right, here we are just about at the at the flower greenhouses. We're not going to fill them up now and um, they want to um, restart them themselves so we won't be replenishing any water or anything like that here. Right, so let's just get onto the right trailer and make sure that it's Yep. It still did load onto the front one as well. <laughs> right, that should be good enough we've got 19 out of 24 there uh, yeah we're just going to leave it at that for now I'll get that strapped up we'll go on to the first one to strap that up so that a single box of flowers doesn't go flying there we go right so we'll sell this all to the To the farm shop at the at the dealer and we'll see I think it does take the soya milk product well, actually what we should do is go just check to see where the soya milk product and we might get a better price at the supermarket and we can go and deliver that first um, where are we? There we go. Um, should be towards the bottom, I would imagine. Good milk. Selling station, grain gate. V supermarkets, that's a bit, a bit lower actually. Soya cuisine, yes, and 2505. Yes, I'm not quite sure. That is 29 difference. That is or 11 difference, or 9 difference and that is and the flowers, I think the flowers can sell to the selling selling grade station which is actually the uh, top farmers market. Where are the flowers now? Are they further down or are they further up? I think they can be further up as soon as we're at the bottom. 
Uh, dear. Where are they there? Mushrooms, flowers. Selling grade 2, 223, at the farm shop. Yeah, so we're going to go and sell because that's quite a big difference. So we're going to go and sell everything at the farm shop. And the farm shop is the the one at the the main farm shop, the original farm shop at the vehicle store. So we'll go and sell everything there. And that should give us the, the best price overall. We're not get, we might not get the best price for every individual product, but we'll get the best price overall for the whole load. Yeah, well, we shall miss the little town that we've helped grow. But this is the nature of a different type of business. And how... Oh, how successful it becomes and sometimes it's just prudent to to actually um, well, they're not going to sell you so that's fine <laughs> uh, prudent to um, to sell up take the money and go and live the good life we'll buy ourselves some something else in a couple of month's time and we'll see how we go so we'll go and sell this to the supermarket just going to be selling to the supermarket because that's the building that comes with the with the actual mod. I think we sell it at the back here. Or deliver it at the back here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so that's very nice. Two hundred and ninety thousand. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to just nip out over to the bank and we'll go and pay off all our loans. And then we'll go and do the rest of the deliveries. I don't know why I'm taking such a long way around. Just don't want to go and pay off my loans. That's the problem. <laughs> we'll just park up in front of the sweet store here. Just run across the road. Bank is just over there. Alright, so we're going to the bank and bank manager says yeah no problem so we will make a special redemption oh i didn't like that last time i did that we had a problem so what i'm going to do is i'm going to exit and then come back into the game and we'll see when we get back in again right you're back with me and we've just been having a bit of a problem with the with the loans so let's go and see if it works now i have had this problem before on this map and it seemed to well what it was is it was when we were doing the special re redemption it was saying that you need to pay back 83,814 point and a whole lot of figures. And then that just kind of threw the whole thing out. It left it with a balance of, of one euro still to be paid. Um, it's not going to be too much of a problem. But um, yeah, it's, yeah, that's better. Nice. You can see it's an exact amount. 83814. Eight 
help if we get that in there. 83814. 83814. Make the payments. And the special redemption again here yeah, for 58873. 58873. 58873. Make the special payment. There we go, and our loans are cleared. We still have 147,000 in the bank. And that's not to be scoffed at. We've still got some stock to deliver. So we'll head on over now to the to the pick your own. And we'll go and load up what's there. Should be two or three pallets of from each station so that should be quite good it looks like three so let's just get onto the right trailer and auto load and we should be okay Yes, I don't know how much we're going to end up with in cash plus the I mean the uh, the payment will still take a little while to come through from the lawyers etc but at least we'll have some money to live with until our two and a half million euros comes it's probably slightly undervalued But yeah, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with it. Right, Let's strap that in. So we've got 6,000 litres of fruit to be delivered. It should bring in a little bit of money. Well, everything's going to be bringing in a little bit of money. this we uh, after we've made this delivery we will just pop in and see if we need to go and replenish the seeds on the planting of that big field i just feel that it probably needs to be i mean we could just leave it and say oh it's only just run out but hey that's not good business is it might be frugal business, but it's not good business. Right, so another seven grand there. That's not I'm going to say not to be scoffed at, but I've said that once already today, haven't I? So that's just. I'm pretty sure that that um, cedar will need replenishment. I think we can just cut across the bottom of the peconed orchards and we should be up more or less where they where is it now it looks like it stopped right at the top there I don't think this is seed I think this is Fertilizer. I know it is seed, four hundred liters of seed. So that's not too bad. Um, just pick that up, and yeah, that should be a, pretty much close to being able to finish that off I 
Maybe not, but we'll see how far it goes. Let's get the cedar going again. And... Of course it stopped working when we had to pop out to go and fix, fix up the bank loan system. So, a hey, create job. Course play. Nearest waypoint. Start. Why hasn't it started now? Oh, it has started. It is going. Right. Of course, need to fertilize and look after the field. Yeah, it's not properly fertilized. But the company that we've sold it to is a company that has a a um, or what, what what do you call it? It's a, a vegetable fertilizer manufacturing company. So it it um, manufactures fertilizers without utilizing um, heavy chemicals. And um, basically that's one of the reasons why they wanted to buy the farm is because they want to use it as a as an example as they fully market the the fertilizer that they the non-chemical fertilizer that they have produced. They wouldn't let me do the testing, which I did ask them, but uh, hey ho, that's their prerogative. Have I been speaking too much instead of concentrating? No, I think we are right. We should have eggs to deliver as well. So, and and I will also load. I think we've got some apples that can be collected down at the bottom here. I think we might have some apple juice to be sold. Oh, why is that not loading? There we go. Gonna have to drive the long way around, I think. Still got the land train connected. I don't know whether we're going to need it. I really got this going so that I could do the flowers and the mushroom deliveries at the same time. We should have a crate of watermelon, at least a pellet of watermelons. Yeah, there we go. We should have some veggies. Fruit. Yeah, there we go. And some more. And we should have some pears. Oh, we will need it because uh, there's probably going to be quite a bit. Because we're going to sell all the flour and everything that we've made as well. How are we looking time wise? So we've got plenty of time. Oh, just loaded. Just loaded pig food and pig food I'm not going to sell anywhere where we are at the moment, so that might be a bit of a problem. 
we've got to sort that out once we've sold. And we've still got some more pick food there because we normally have to sell that through the through the international dealer. Um, where we go? I want to go into there and. I don't know whether we're going to be able to get close enough to this one to auto load it on the on the back. Yep. Don't don't want to load those two there. We've already got two two on there. Got some bread and pasta to go as well. I don't think I think we've got some. Apple juice that can be loaded as well. And we've got eggs that can go down. Then we'll just have to sort out the bit of pig food that we've got. And we should be away. Let's go and have a look here. So we can sell the I can sell the um, what do you call it as well the oil One of the joys of life, filling up all your products and not having to think about whether you want to. Uh, we've, got, we've got lots of sugar here. We're going to sell that before we go as well. We might be able to get it on you. Let's have a look and see. I don't know if we'll get all of it on you. Let's get in. We've got lots of gaps on that. I don't know why that happened. I think we sold flour somewhere where we shouldn't have. Or will we make this? I don't know. It's a second trailer going to make it past the tree? No. No. Oops, we're not doing very well here. Let's try and go around from the other side. Happened, yeah. We've checked now this whole system. Let's just drive around the oil factory as well. You could be so careful when you have these multiple trailers on. Could have done myself a nasty there. Oh dear. Might have to manually load this one. <laughs> Did it load? I 
don't know, might be on the roof. Not covering ourselves in glory once again. And I think Convinced you're missing a, a thing of sugar. Might not be. Might, it might not be a problem. Just look at all those gaps. How badly packed is that? Any event, let's go and see where can we deliver sugar to. Sugar, there we go. Uh, bakery, we don't can't because that is owned by us. Eight ninety nine nine farmers market. Nine oh five nine oh eight the pizzeria. Nine thirteen selling great. Nine twenty seven vegan milk factory, but they, that is owned by us. So the Top farmers market is where we're going with this. We'll come back for the eggs. It's just so badly packed. You can see we are on. We are in holiday mode already. Or we've sold everything up ready. Um, <laughs> mood or mode not doing a very good job of anything we're doing right now but this should bring in a little bit of money a little bit more money should we say we'll see you when we get down to the selling station right here we are we're just about to make this well, it won't be our final delivery. Our final delivery will be eggs, which I believe was also our first delivery. Twenty odd thousand there, we've still got another trailer to go. Twenty four thousand there, so we're over two hundred thousand now. Let's get back and go and pick up those eggs. It's time to not live in a tent anymore. <laughs> It's nearly five years since we've been. Oh, we've got more seeds here. So let's actually just get that on the back there. We've got plenty of seed. And we can take it down to the field. And okay, let's drop the last trailer. We don't need that. And um, see if it needs any more seed. I think we've bought too much seed. In any case, that will be to the advantage of the people coming in because we will leave that for them. Oh, we certainly did overbuy on seed. What went on there? Yeah, 
Yeah, we were struggling a little bit with our management of this operation. I don't know why. But yeah, it was a bit of a struggle. Lots of things that we seem to go wrong, so it's probably not a bad idea to be getting out of here. Strap that in. And head on down to the to the, the soya field, the big soya field. See if it needs any more seed. If it doesn't, we'll bring it back. I think there's still plenty of lime in one of our storehouses here, which can also be left for the new owners. It looks like it's still working. Might not need any seed. It's just about finished, I think. At least we completed that project. A big soya field. I think it was actually the changeover when we changed over from pigs to to soya product that really sold it to this new company because it was not long after we've done that when they started and I started getting wooed so to speak to sell up yeah we're not going to start um, fertilizing ourselves we're just going to leave it as it is We'll just ride with him to finish off. Yes, yeah, still 7% there. We had plenty of seed. I think that's probably finished now. Yep, that's that done. Thank you, Betty. We'll just tidy up this little area here. I'm not going to go around the whole field. As I say, we are in cell mode. Yep. And this little area down at the bottom here. Fantastic. Let's get this back up to the Back up to the farm and parked up so that our vehicles are all parked up. We'll give this a bit of a wash quickly. I think for four years, nearly five years work on this farm we've come quite a way. We've certainly been profitable. We, as we sit now, we've got everything paid for in the fields. We've got just about every field planted. There's a couple of fields that still need to be planted, so we've got crops in just about every field. We have uh, we have chickens. Oh, we still got to deliver the chickens, the the eggs. That's going to be our last job, I think. And, um, yeah, we're going to have 
just over 200,000 in the bank with the payments still to come through so I think for five years work not too bad not too bad at all to be honest we've kind of proved that you can you can farm just with electric equipment it has its advantages the The um, vehicle costs seem to be a bit lower in terms of repairs and maintenance. Um, certainly, we weren't paying a lot because of the of generating our own electricity through our wind turbines. Not quite sure if we got that right, just from the series point of view, whether. The balance was right but we didn't want to be generating too much in additional income but still making it um, feasible that the equipment that we have would power what we needed so i think we've got that almost right but have you know let me know in the comments whether you think we got that right or not. Um, where are we now? Uh, turn off high pressure rows, that's all that done. Yeah, we... Um, besides the one little mistake we made on fertilizer, we certainly haven't used any f fertilizer besides manure. Which uh, I'm pretty proud of and pretty happy about. We have uh, we've supplied the town with a varied amount of product. We have also supplied, well, given the, the town a, uh, a pick your own section and we'll have a quick look around at all these little things just quickly once we've just parked this up and offloaded these bags of seeds into the storage room. We've been very limited on using any fossil fuel vehicles. It's only really been the harvesters that we've used. I think we may have used a tractor to plough one of the fields somewhere along the line. I can't quite remember. But yeah, we certainly haven't used a huge amount. And... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with, with the way we've we've done it. So we haven't really built too much infrastructure in terms of the buildings and housing and all that type of stuff. We would have been able to do it. It would have been coming up pretty soon. Doing that type of thing. Certainly building a house, a nice house somewhere. Um, yeah, we don't need to do that now. We can try and buy an, another farm with a nice house on it. See if there's another little area where we can get people going in there with their eco farming. I think there should also be a, you know, the, the, there would be a way of doing cattle eco farming. Um, and there are people that do eco beef. These much more expensive, of course. But I think that's the way it should be. I think for things like 
beef and certainly a lot of our meat products we should be paying premium prices so that they can be reared with the environment in in mind basically so not just saying don't eat it but eat it from your local place so we would if you have a beef farm in your area then you can eat beef instead of having it mass produced for places like supermarkets and such like but that's a whole new can of worms Right, let's, let's just go and park these trailers up and then we'll go and see what we can buy in terms of an es escape vehicle. <laughs> Put the new trailer back into into its shed. Just have it reasonably tidy for when the new owners come in. They were saying that they were developing their own um, their own tractor as well. So it would have been interesting to be involved in but yeah they did they did offer me a position in the in the in the operation but yeah it's difficult when you when you've created something and then it becomes somebody else's baby especially when you start not liking the way they do things or liking the way they do things and wishing you had thought of it <laughs> one of the two <laughs> yeah. yeah very happy with our our Hurleymans have pre performed they have done sterling work Let's switch that off. Yeah, that's pretty much tidy. Oh, we've still got eggs to deliver. Goodness, we don't want to leave those. Just going to do those quickly. Yeah, we've still got plenty of time. Gonna put a little bit of dirt onto our new our nicely clean tractors. Not too worried about that to be honest. So it's pretty fitting that our last delivery income delivery will be eggs it was our first delivery if I remember correctly so I'm quite happy that our chickens are going to be the last for source of income We get almost a pellet load from each little section. Well, not quite really, but can't remember when we we may have delivered quite late yesterday. But yeah, four thousand five hundred eggs. Not too bad. I don't know where the um, 
with the pig food sole that we had on. We did that sell. Must have sold somewhere. I think it's probably sold at the uh Yeah, we sold everything at the um, the farmer's market. Should have put the other lot on here, but we'll... We'll just take that across to the... to the store and, and we'll sell it on the... or to the silo and we will sell it on the international market. I think we've got three pallets. I think we've got 3,000 litres there. It's not going to bring in a huge amount of money. And that means that my, our eggs are not going to be a last form of income. They're going to be our second last form of income. So where's the best price, price for eggs? That's the other thing we want to find out. Where are they? I think they're going to be further up this way. Eggs, there we go. Farm shop, uh, farmers market 2019, farmers market 2021, selling grade station 2031. Let's go and get those. We can load up those, uh, those three crates of. Uh, Pick food and we'll sell them there as well. Determine that these eggs are part of our last source of income. Here's another thing of bread we can sell. So let's uh, eggs, pig food, and pig food and bread. A staple of our our operation for a long time. Oops, I think. Pick food made to deliver back into the into the mill if we're not careful. So let's give it a wide berth. Yeah, that should be good enough. And we'll go and sell that all at the main farm as well, the town farmer's market. Well, we're busy selling our last lot. And 19,000. Not bad for our last sale. So we're ending up on 221,476. Plus we've got 2.5 million to come in. Let's get this back to the station, back to the farm, and then we'll wrap up. We'll see you then. Well, it is just about 9.30. We've kind of finished all we needed to do for today. The place is ready to be taken over. And I think it's time for us to do just one last little trip around the farm and then leave so i have bought myself a nice little electric scrambler is what i would like to call it electric motorbike number 09 wasn't a usually extravagant purchase about just four and a half thousand euros but yeah so let's have it drive around so this of course is where we've slept most nights for the last four years cooked our food pretty much been camping out we could have built something we should have built something but we always seem to find something else to do with the money so we have two trusty hurlymans who Electric Hurleymans that have worked fantastically. Fairly new cedars, two new new cedars. We have some lime and um, 
seeds that are going to be staying for the next owner. There's a muck spreader or a manure spreader with some manure in it, not much. We've got the big grain trailer, 30,000 litre, or 32,000 litre I think, capacity. Our water trailer and of course our water system powered by a windmill. Water trailer, could have done with a bit of a wash. Washing station. A small greenhouse where we've been growing um, watermelons. Just an unusual crop. Some vegetables and strawberries grown in this greenhouse. A workshop. Electric charging station, all powered of course by wind. So, compost producing area so we made compost from all the bits and pieces that come from the greenhouses a fairly new silo a new old silo I suppose but yeah it replaced the one that we had and another greenhouse which we produce mainly I think we were producing onions, cucumbers, and lettuce. So more high value vegetables. Then we go up to what was our first orchard. And we grow pears up here. Our very first production was a windmill flower production which went hand in hand with a bakery where we were making noodles and bread mainly. We've got three large fields at the top here. Well, three fields, they're not really large. Four fields actually got a smaller field which has a bit of a weed problem that's the new owner's problem now and we have a little production area which is pretty new we have a plant to produce oils and fruit juices this is our oat mill and soya milk pr production and a soya drink which had a bit of a problem with its water pump, but I believe that has actually been fixed. It was done by the new owners, they sent somebody in already this morning. This is our only unplanted field at the moment. We grow mushrooms in these greenhouses here, which have been very, very lucrative. Some more fields up here, and another field there, smallish field. Of course, the area that we had our productions in, we did pigs there for quite a while. And then chickens, which was our main source of manure. And of course, it was, as I mentioned earlier on, our first bit of income came from eggs. These were our first two fields that we had in the front here. Then as we head on back down, we say cheerio to the farm. We've got the strange field which we had a bit of mishap with potatoes in. And we have two greenhouses producing flowers which are, off, are also very very lucrative couple of odd shaped fields here which we've taken crops off and then we've got I think we've got soya in there now for the new guys for their soya production and we've got this huge soya field which 
goes all the way around the, the hill. Huge, huge field. And we'll just go cross country through the back here to the pick your own section, which I'm particularly proud of because that brings the community and the farm together. Which pick your own apricots. Pick your own plums. Pick your own apples. Because the apples are by far the, the most popular. So we have two orchards of apples. In conjunction with the town, we put up this little area here. People can park and sit down and eat the stuff that they've picked up. We were instrumental in helping the town develop and we established our own little farmer's market over here which worked quite well and was pretty lucrative for us. These were sort of standard buildings from the from the village. We did contribute to the building of the soya extension to the to the garden center and that is pretty much it I think we did all this in under five years just under five years we've repaid all our bank loans And yeah, we will now head off to Pastures New. So thank you so much for watching this series. Do hope you've enjoyed it. Let us know any thoughts that you have on it. And we'll catch you in the next one. If you have enjoyed the series, of course, please like and subscribe. And I'll just go sign out here and we'll say cheerio